In this training video, we're going to look at setting a baseline for a project. So there's some tables you can check to see whether a baseline has been set. So if I go to the view tab, tables arrow and variance table. Anytime you don't see any dates in the variance table, that means in the baseline start and baseline finish, that means no baseline has been set. So NA means no baseline has been set. I could also check the cost table. A cost table, at the moment, I've got a variance, and that means from when I first started entering costs at the planning stage of the project. But when I set a baseline, the variance column will, will go blank. Then any cost change or any date change for the variance table will show variances. So the variance at the moment, before a baseline has been set in the cost table, just means the cost variance from when you started inputting costs into the project from a blank project. So I'm going to change the table back to entry, and now I'm going to set a baseline, and we'll see what happens to those tables. And we'll turn on the baseline graphic. So to set a baseline, project tab, set baseline arrow, with a set baseline icon and choose the option set baseline. Now, when you set a baseline, you've got an option within a, a project of up to 11 baselines in total. So when you reuse baselines for whatever reason, something goes wrong, you need to be quite selective in the reason for a new baseline because you've only got 11. If you had a project going over many, many years, you might want to have a project split into many projects. So if you needed more than 11 baselines, you could use it that way. Now, the difference between entire project and selected tasks Entire project is for a single project. Selected tasks is the way you'd set a baseline for program management when you're, when you're linking multiple projects together in one project. So we're only going to use entire project for a single project and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to check the tables, see what's happened. So view tab, tables, variance first. We now know that the baseline start and baseline finish columns are now populated. So there is no variance at present. Zero day, and that's because nothing's changed yet. We haven't made any amendments since the baseline has been set. But we can now show that the baseline has been set and the NA is gone and the dates are now populated. If I now change tables and go to the cost table, we can now see that the variance column is now zeroed out. So this could be a budget, for example. So you've now baselined your budget. Anything happens from now on becomes a variance, whether it's a positive or negative to your budget. We can also turn on what's called the baseline graphics. So I'm going to change the table back to a standard view entry. And to add the baseline graphic, format tab, Baseline icon, click on the arrow, and it's baseline last saved. I'm going to select it, and this puts little gray, gray bars underneath the blue bars. So that means at present everything is in sync together. So this completes the training video on setting a baseline and checking tables which are useful to see whether a baseline has been set. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.